guys welcome back to my channel um, it is Thursday November 11th so happy not happy but Memorial Day Remembrance Day <clears throat> um, we are all battling a cold in our household so Blake is home from school today um, she felt super hot this morning so I gave her Advil and some homeopathic it's like I'm running out though this homeopathic stodol it's called um, the cough medicine um, and my mom's picking us up some elderberry um, and some Tylenol for the baby because she's Reese has a stuffy nose and is a little bit cranky but Blake is like um, she felt really hot and she uh, has a sore throat and completely stuffed in her nose Olivia's fine. I feel run down and kind of crappy because if you guys follow my Instagram, you know like the last I think two days I have taken naps and just been like not wanting to do anything. Now I know why. Oh honey. And I feel like Mommy, since she started school. Okay honey, I'll, I'll change her. Um, Libby's trying to get her clothes on. I feel like since Blake's been in school, she's always sick. Minnie's what? Can't show Lucas. Tell everybody how you feel today. Sick. Yeah, you got a stuffy, runny nose. Yeah, poor thing. And Reese's just been kind of like that. She's just a little fussy. Um, but Libby, let me help you get dressed, hun. I'm gonna help Libby get dressed, and then we're just gonna hang out today. I know, but you need help, honey. That goes on your head, not your feet, sweetie. I gotta feed the baby. We're just hanging out today watching Christmas movies. I'm gonna make some sort of healthy soup. Just like chill. At least I got makeup on to try and make myself feel better, but I feel gross. That is cold. Oh yeah, it's cold. So Blakey is asleep on the couch. Reese just went down for a nap and Olivia wants a snack. Oh, I hear your sister. Hopefully she naps. I dump as well, but I'm trying to persevere. We just rented Despicable Me 3 for the kids because Blake picked it and then she fell asleep two seconds later. But watch out, honey, watch your hands. Watch your hands. But she um, she needs the rest, so she never falls asleep this early. Like, she doesn't feel well. And you want pretzels? We gotta go to Costco this weekend because we are literally out of everything. It's not even funny. Hey, Liv. Are we out of everything? Oh. We are painting, me and Olivia. It's like her favorite thing to do, isn't it, Liv? <laughs> then um, I wanna make some chili, beef chili for later, and then we're just gonna have like, I think grilled cheese and chili for supper. I would make like, chicken noodle soup, but the girls don't like chicken noodle soup. Like, they hate it. Also, can you guys please leave in the comments below, do you like my hair more this golden blonde? Um, see, I've got a bit of a low light. I'm getting my hair done next week. So do you think I should do, like, golden blonde? All, like, golden blonde? Or do, like, a mix of the golden blonde and the light bright blonde? Or should I do golden blonde with another dark low light so it's just a little bit darker but still blonde? Let me know in the comments because I trust y'all and whoever, whatever comment I get the most of, like which of those three, I'll do. No matter what, <laughs> I'll do. So I'm just, Blake just woke up from a nap. She was on the couch for like two hours. Pretty sure she's got a fever. She feels super hot. So um, I need to get a new thermometer. But I'm just gonna check her temperature, but she's definitely got a fever. She's so hot. Baby's been sleeping for an hour and a half. Um, I'm just gonna let, honestly, gonna let them all sleep. I don't care how long they nap today. I'm just gonna let them sleep because that's what they need. So I'm gonna take her temperature. This thing even work? I have one in the baby's room. This doesn't even work. Oh my God, I have one in the baby's room, but I don't wanna wake her up. Yeah, this does not work. So that's useless. Um, Blakey, I gotta wait till your sister wakes up to check your temperature. So it's frustrating that all I can give her is like elderberry. I gave her extra vitamin D this morning, but I'm out of the zinc. I could give her more of this cold and flu. 
I'm gonna give her more of that now, actually. Um, but yeah, and actually she could have a little bit more Advil. I think it's every six hours. Um, Cause yeah, you can't give them over the counter stuff. I wouldn't anyways, cause that stuff is shit and it doesn't work. It masks the symptoms, it doesn't make you better. Um, and you can't give it to kids under, I think it's age six or seven anyways, you're not supposed to. Um, six to eight hours, up to three doses a day. So she had one at, I think it was like 6 a.m., 5.30, so she could have some more now. Um, I just wanna see how she is. I don't like to give her too much, but I'm gonna definitely give her some more of this. So. It's so hard when your babies are sick. Like, I'm gonna give you some more of your medicine here, hun. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at her. Look at your cheeks. They're so red. Here you go. Can you take that from mom and I'll get you some water? Good job, B. I'll get you a drink of water, okay? Oh, at least this one's feeling okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, this is the hard part, is like trying to keep the other kids from getting as bad. Like that's, that's the hard part and getting sick myself. And remembering like which cup is Blake's. I'm just gonna wash all the cups because I don't know who touched what. <laughs> This is her drink. I don't know who touched what cup. She's gonna get this one. So, Blake has a fever. Love that. I just took her temperature, um, and it's like, well, it's Celsius, so it's like 37.7, which is a fever. I can tell just by feeling her. She's so hot. Um, so my mom's on her way from her hair appointment. I'm going to see if she will stay. I'm sure she will. Um, if she can stay and wear a mask. She's been vaccinated, fully vaccinated. So have I. Um, but obviously the kids haven't. And I'm not sure if I will with them. I'm not sure. Uh, that's a whole other video. But... Um, I need to get her tested because if she's positive, then I need to keep her away from everybody else for, I guess it's 10 days. So um, I need to know if she has it or not. So I'm gonna see if my mom will stay here and just like wear a mask so I can take her just to get like the rapid, um, rapid test. Love that for us. She says she feels worse after her nap. She slept two hours on the couch. Um, her cheeks are completely flushed. She's hot as anything. She started to cry a little bit because her throat's so sore. So I don't like to give Advil, but she needs she needs Advil. Um, so then the last dose I'll give her before bed, like around six o'clock, and I'll put her to bed by seven. Um, I'm probably gonna keep her home tomorrow. I highly doubt she'll be better by tomorrow. So the hard part, and this is another hard part about having more than one child, is keeping it contained to the one child. It's next to impossible because she's already, they breathe the same air, she's already kissed. You know, the her sisters, here Reese. Reese's just having peanut butter and jelly and so is Olivia. Blake doesn't want to eat, but I've got her um, having some water. But that's the hard part is like not having the other two get as sick and myself. But I don't care about myself, I care about them. So like I said before, Olivia just has a runny nose, but she feels fine. She wants to play, she's her normal self so far. Uh, Reese is completely stuffy and has like a runny nose, but she's happy and she's, sleep she's sleeping well, nursing well. So if I can just contain the roughness to Blake and not have it pass, that would be great. But you know, we do have to get the test because Colin was supposed to see um, his brother who has the three month old baby this weekend, but obviously we need to get her tested because if she has it, we won't be seeing anybody for like 10 days or whatever. I almost just cut my, look at that. That's skin. I almost just cut my finger. I need to like pay attention a little bit better. Um, and at least it's not the full blown. It's just like a little nose swap for the kiddos. So. <laughs> oh Lordy, I just pray that it's not COVID and it's just 
the flu or something. I mean, obviously I don't want her to have the flu, but I'd rather her not have COVID. Got to build up my immunity. Eat some raw green onion. And in my salad. What do you do? Are you pooping? Did you move in? Oh, yep, you're pooping. Okay, guys, it is <clears throat> much later. It's um, 10 to 3. I look a little shiny here, but whatever. Um, I'm just going to make some chili. Um, Blake, I had to take her for a COVID test because, um, yeah, she had a fever um, and then on the way home. So I just want to rule it out. And Colin's supposed to go to a football game with friends of ours and our my brother-in-law who has a little baby so we want to rule it out um, but we won't get the results back for 24 hours um, and on the way home she's complaining of lower back pain she said it was the car seat and she was almost in tears she said her back hurt so much I've heard that can be a symptom but I'm not sure um, and then when she got out of the car she's like she was white as a sheet and she's like well I'm gonna be sick um, so I carried her in the house booked it to the bathroom she didn't throw up um, and she just sat there and she hadn't had anything since breakfast so I just gave her some crackers um, and that seems to have gone down fine and she kind of perked her up a little bit and now she's like happy she's watching her show um, I gave her a little bit of it's not for kids it's for adults but I gave her like half less than half um, it's the organic um, elderberry syrup so I took two teaspoons, because you're supposed to take two teaspoons um, once a day. Uh, well, that's for, for preventative, for maintenance, so I should maybe take more. Um, and I gave her a teaspoon. So hopefully that helps, and I've got Tylenol for the baby in case she, God forbid, comes down with it too, but it's just like so stressful. It's so stressful, and it's, you know, it's one of those things where, um, I mean, it could very well just be a flu bug or something I'm hoping because um, otherwise like if she does have um, COVID then you know you gotta isolate for 10 days and then everybody that's been in contact with us and it's just this whole thing so um, I'm just praying that it's just cold or flu and that's it so anyways my mom left Libby's still napping I put Reese to bed at like 2 30 um, and I'm just gonna make some chili right now and then we're just gonna have like grilled cheese and a bit of chili for supper. Um, and that's it, we're not doing anything else, I'm so tired. It's kind of a far drive because my local hospital doesn't have their testing open on Thursdays. Don't know why, but they don't. So I had to drive to the next city, um, which was a little bit farther. And then I was like, oh, I'm almost out of gas, I had to go get gas, it's just blah, 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 blah. So I'm tired, but she's happy now watching her show. She's having a little bit of ice cream for her throat. Probably not the best idea, but whatever makes her happy. So anyways, I'm going to make chili and I'll show you what I'm doing. Hey guys, so I'm just cooking the chili. So I have um, ground beef in here, one pound, but I think I'm going to add another pound. I'm defrosting some of the microwave. Um, I had two pounds of red kidney beans a whole can of whole tomatoes and the juice. The reason you wanna get um, whole tomatoes is because the quality is way better and then you can just chop it up. Um, it's way better than like the chopped tomatoes are kind of crappier tomatoes that they use for that. So whole tomatoes chopped up, um, white onion and some green onion, garlic, and then I did um, salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, chili powder, and chipotle powder. Um, show you how awfully organized this is. But this is the chipotle powder. It's by the Bearded Butchers. My husband's obsessed. Um, it's really, really good. Um, and then obviously chili powder, onion powder. And you just kinda let that simmer and it's gonna be delicious. You want it to thicken up. I'm gonna add another pound of beef. Um, and then I might add some more tomato sauce depending on how this cooks, but I'm going to just leave it on simmer and let that cook all afternoon. So this is my chili. I just topped it with sour cream, um, cheese, and green onion. There's no recipe that I followed. I literally just did my own thing, so you kind of have to follow <laughs> what I did. Um, and Reese is having grilled cheese and she loves it. And then I'm going to give her some, um, like a pouch, like a fruit pouch with some vegetable in it. Olivia's over there having grilled cheese and Blakey, 
does not want to eat. Blake, are you sure you don't want any food, honey? You're full? She is feeling a little bit better though, thank God. And we're watching Christmas Chronicles number two because they want to see the North Pole. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Sorry for the loud TV in the background. Um, Blakey was rough last night. Like, before she went to bed, I gave her the last dose of Advil that she's allowed to have and she slept really well. Um, she slept on the couch from 5.30 to 7.30 and then woke up so we could change her into her pajamas and I actually fell asleep beside her at like eight o'clock um, and slept right through. So um, Reese woke, well not right through, because Reese woke me um, at 12 and four. Olivia did not wake me so I am fully energized, thank God. I feel better today, Reese seems fine, Olivia seems fine. Let's hope we keep it that way. But Blake was crying last night and this morning about an upset tummy, headache. Like she's got everything. She's got headache, fever, upset stomach, sore throat, doesn't want to eat. Like she's, she's got it pretty bad. So um, <clears throat> I will let you guys know about her um, <clears throat> test results um, when they come in and whenever I find out, then I'll end the vlog. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Um, and then I'm gonna just honestly, I called her school and told her obviously she's not coming and it's Friday. So she gets another two days off. Yeah, yeah like she's eating her toes. Is it good? <laughs> um, but I am just going to basically be disinfecting today. Um, just like cleaning. Um, I know she's still sick, but I thought like changing our bed sheets because I share a bed with her. So I wanna change the bed sheets open the windows upstairs, like air everything out and steam. I have like a steam attachment on my, uh, um, a steam mop attachment. So I can steam like pillows and everything just to try and disinfect. So I'm gonna do that. I'll do that in a separate like disinfect with me video. Yeah, baby. Your knee cracked. So I just gave her some more elderberry and some more Advil. I hate giving Advil and Tylenol. Like I am not the type to just be like, here you go, here you go, here you go. But she was like crying, complaining about her stomach and her head. Um, I'm not gonna let her suffer. So hopefully that helps her. But I'll let you guys know what her test results say. I also wanted to show you, you want another piece of toast? Here you go, here you go. Um, I have a Zoom meeting today with, um, uh, pharmacy makeup, uh, my, um, there we go, the girl, um, who I actually found out about the company from, we're having a little chat today and I'm really excited. She's, um, like super cool. To be honest, I have like a bit of a girl crush on her because <laughs> she's just really cool. Like she just seems like the type of person that you just want to be friends with. Um, so that today and then I'll clean, but I wanted to show you guys every year. I get um, the girls' new Christmas pajamas and I wash them ahead of time and I give it to them on, um, sorry for this lighting, it was so bad. Hold on, <laughs> let's see if I can fix it. I hate yellow lighting. I don't know if that's better, anyways. Um, I give it to them to wear Christmas Eve. So I always get them from The Gap. Um, I just wait for a sale, they had a 50% off sale because The Gap is the best for like everything but I'm not paying full price. So, what honey? No? Okay, let me, I'll change it in a sec. So I got them this Christmas pattern. I thought it was so cute. So that's a size five for both of them. And then they didn't have the same pattern in baby. So I got Reese this pattern and it, so it matches. Like it's got the bit of green. I thought they were super cute. So I gotta hide these now. Oh, I don't have no oh, idea. Here it is. So we are doing nail polish now, Libby. You show everyone your lid. nails. I found the lid. Good girl. Oh, show the camera. Go like this. Look. Put, put your hand down. Relax. There. Look, look, see? Look, 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 look. And Blakey, I see. Blakey, tell everyone you feel. She feels better, but. I, I feel sick. I feel sick. You feel sick? Oh, don't touch. You got nail polish. Um, Blakey feels a little bit better, but she has Advil in her. Um. And I feel like as soon as it wears off, she'll be not so good. You can see I've got a little bit of bags. I'm, I am I feel a little bit run down. I don't feel sick, but I feel like, you know when you're about to get sick and you've got that like 
just that run down feeling. That's how I feel today. So I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna go crazy, but I steam mopped, or I steamed the couch cushions and the, um, the blankets. I aired out our bedroom upstairs because she's sleeping with me. Um, and I washed the sheets and disinfected a couple things and I have to do a little bit more, but I'm not gonna go crazy because I need to rest too. How, where does what go? It's so beautiful, but she feels okay for now, but she's still pretty sick. Mommy, oh mommy. Look at that hair. I want some more. Okay. Hey guys, I'm about to hop on my Zoom meeting, but um, Blake's test was negative. Thank God. Thank God. So it's obviously just like she's already feeling better. Like she wants to play. She's eating chips right now. She ate her whole lunch. She's happy, she's like wanting to do things. So I think it was just like a 24 hour flu or something like that, but she's so much better now. Thank God, and her test is negative, thank God. So um, yeah, I gotta do my Zoom. I'm gonna end the vlog here and I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.